What up, what up, what up, everybody? We're pulling out of a little service shop just off in the middle of nowhere, Tulsa here. Just kind of off the interstate. And uh, I, I needed to get some washer fluid. Run out of washer fluid. We're still driving the old Kenworth that we picked up. And though these are the cheapest trucks that we have bought, probably the most used trucks that we have bought, uh, I, I really like it. <laughs> I really like it. I, I've enjoyed all of the trucks we've purchased. I gotta be honest. Now, we haven't had them very long. So we'll see how they do in the long run here. But so far, I am very happy. But you guys know we are still rolling here on our way to a million dollars in American Truck Simulator. Now I know a lot of people ask, is that a million net worth or a million in cash? Now my goal is a million in cash. We'll see what happens here, but that is what I'm aiming for. And uh, mainly that's just because it's a little bit of a pain to, to tally up your total all value. Uh, we could definitely do that and we probably still will but i'll you know well, just for a little funsies we'll get to a million in cash and then total it up you know so this is a four-way i know he's gonna have to stop and our pickup location is right up here to the left i know that sounds a little strange to say and it's actually that one on that trailer it's a bus we're hauling another bus we're might as well call ourselves bus haulers might as well start a website bushauler.com you know what i mean because we do plenty of it that is for sure by the way, a lot of people always ask about how I turn uh, my head in this game, how I look around, and some people even ask, is this in VR? And you can play this game in VR, but you're not watching this in VR. If you would be interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments down below. But right now, what you're seeing is a product called Track IR, and if I remember, I will put a link in the description down below. But you can hear I'm kind of turning my head, and you can see it's turning the uh, character's head as well. So very cool. Look up and down, move forward, move backwards, the whole, the whole thing. But that's our school bus, 10,000, or 10 tons, rather. $7,500 is what we're going to get. And it is a 157-mile drive, about three-hour drive here. We've got 440 on the clock, which means we're going to be just perfect for getting this thing where it needs to go so long as we get on the road right away. So we're going to pull right around to the trailer and hook up here. Look at these boys. they got a Camaro and a Mustang working at this factory. They must be making some good money fixing these buses or whatever they... Oh, it's facing this way. Hello. The back is towards the front. Well, all right. Um, so, gonna be honest, we really don't have a good lineup here. Because <laughs> I thought it was gonna be the other way. <laughs> um, but we'll fix it. It's just kind of hard to see in there. Like, very hard to see. It's definitely the biggest issue about American Truck Sam when backing up these mirrors. Yeah, they can be kind of uh, a challenge. Now, there are mods that fix that. I have one installed. There are a few different types. I don't know which one works best. Maybe we can try a few others and see if they are any better. But that's... Oh, good. See, I almost hit a guardrail over here. I actually almost hit a guardrail. But I'm just going to try and sneak underneath this thing if I can see what I'm doing, dude. I just... It's almost impossible. Come on. Oh, we nailed it. All right. Park and brake here. We're going to step out and... We'll get everything hooked up on it now. The lines are hooked up, and we need some lights. Let's turn the lights on the truck, trailer. That all seems to be working alongside. Okay, we're good to go. This is a really nice-looking little Kenny for, for 9000 11000 whatever it was. Good truck right here. I'm happy. We're going to get out on the road. It is 8.25 in the morning. Going to be there by 11.30, but then we're going to have to take our time off. Now, they don't need us to go on the scale to get out of here, do you? It's 10 tons. It's a bus. We're going to be fine. I think they're going to let me just leave. If they need me on that scale, then they'll stop me, I'm sure. Guy with the broom, you're the last chance. Last line of defense. Okay, well, he didn't tell me I had to get on the scale, so I ain't getting on no scale. That sun is glaring like a son of a gun, boy. By the way, a lot of guys have been asking about mods, and I had... So, let me... Let me tell a little story here. A long time ago, um, mod stuff in Farming Simulator was a big deal with private mods. We were in series that had a lot of private mods and people were asking for those all the time and stuff. And, you know, it was kind of common sense that we're not allowed to give those out. So that's why, like, when they release that comment section rules deal, it says in there, don't ask for mods. I should say don't ask for private mods. And that's a better clarification. Uh, but I'll go in there and I'll fix that because people have... have you know, been curious about what mods we're using, and then you know it's like, oh, I, I can't ask. You're you're completely you're completely fine. If you want to know what we're using to do something, that's completely fine. 
It was just an old rule from back in the day that uh, needed to be enforced and, and the wording on the guideline thing that pops up. If you're new to the channel, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you've been around for a while, you might not remember it, but the deal pops up telling you uh, what like some rules about the chat. I personally completely forgot, uh, so we'll get all that fixed and I'll also do my best to put together a mod list or collection of whatever I can and put that in the description of the videos moving forward. Now, the more crazy mod mods get, the less I can confidently provide you that list, okay? I will try, but it's going to be easier with fewer mods. So sometimes it might have everything. It might not have everything. We're going to try our best, but uh, just be patient with us and we'll, we'll get there. I know you guys want the info and I'm not, up, I, you know, I'm not afraid to give it to you, but know that I'm not going to send you a link to it unless it's the absolute official link. So most of the time, it's probably just going to be a name and then you're going to have to find it. Uh, sorry, it's just I don't want to be responsible for sending you something and then you know you, you something happens or i don't want to accidentally send you know the wrong link and promote a leaked version of somebody's mod you know i i, I want to do the modders correct by having the correct links and i can't always guarantee that that'll be the case so unless i can absolutely guarantee that it is the correct link then it will not be in the description but its name will but we're getting on up to 75 i think that's what this is up here i don't know know where we're going on oh, this is also 244 east okay north 75 244 east what are we taking as you guys can see we've got the uh, deal down there telling us we don't need to be there until five on thursday so we do need to be there today and we'll be there it's gonna be fine but we got to keep boogieing down the road we've got a full well not a full tank but enough of a tank to get us where we're going i I'm sure of that. And that's going to help us, because if we would have had to stop for fuel, I mean, we would have been a little tight on time. But we're pulling out of, I believe we were in the Tulsa area here, so y'all from Tulsa, let me know how that city scape looks along here if this any of this looks familiar to you. And we're going to be heading our way on up to Kansas. I don't exactly remember where. Well, I thought he was going to do it right there. And I was like, no, sir. No, sir. Uh-uh. Hey, boys, what if I did something a little crazy? <laughs> Let me through. <laughs> Come on, man. I can't sneak through there at all. That's really rude, bro. That's really... Okay. I'm thinking about this. How fast could they run and do I have the horsepower to... All right, all right, all right, all right. I was really hoping... So a lot of times, guys, a little... You, a lot of times you can sneak past these, okay? And uh, it's a little ATS trick that... Um, um, honestly, uh, whenever I'm trucking on my own time, usually I go kind of through slash around the detour. Uh, but this one is right here on this tight little off ramp. We're not going to be able to get around that one. Unfortunately, the nature of where it's located. So we're going to back up, accept the ticket that the cop behind us is probably going to give us for, you know, trying to ignore him. And uh, we'll find our way around this mess. Yeah, those stupid people would up and down the road. I'm just got places to be. Got me backing up this daggum highway. At oh, Okay, let's see. Whoa, double Costco. Nice. Fellas, 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 help me out, run Johnny Law. Please, let me in the mix. Let me in the mix. Woo. Woo. Sir, I'm just trying not to hit a barrier, please. Thank you. Huh. Okay, did I make a mess of things? Yes. But is it because I'm stubborn? Yes. Is that a bad defense? Yes. That's all, Your Honor. I guess we're going to find a new way around here, and hopefully it doesn't... Re uh, you know what? That little detour probably hurt me for time. I maybe shouldn't have tried that. Like, we gambled and lost, that's for sure. Must have been a big old accident because they had the other lane shut down the whole other direction of the road there. I sure do enjoy driving when we get more into the middle of nowhere here. Okay, left lane's actually going to be having to come over, and then we're merging in. That's a little interesting. But we don't want this exit only, so I need to hop over one. We got the time. And we're going to head straight on on through ooh, toll road up here it was that for the turn for the toll road i wasn't quite paying attention i was looking at my speed sorry i'm gonna go ahead and turn on my engine brake it's a nice thing to use nice thing to have need to use it more often save my own brakes <laughs> but also i find that when you use it and you allow yourself to use it as a, like your one of your main slowing down and stopping brakes uh you know don't rely on it but like you know what i'm trying to say when you when you do that i find you're a better driver you're just a little bit more 
calm about things. <laughs> you know, the rush kind of goes away. But I think we're going to be getting over to this turn lane up here. Looks like it's clear on the right. It's going to be heading 69 on north. 69. What is 25 on this turn? Okay, slow down. Slow down more. There you go. Get down to 25 on this thing. I'm not trying to push my luck. Nope. When they say a speed, they mean it for a reason. <laughs> Especially when you're in a truck. In fact, 25 on this flat one here feels too much. That other one was banked. That was all right. But 20 is going to be a better one on that. Now we can try to accelerate. There's going to be a car there. Sir, sir, sir. Don't, 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 dude. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Ugh, fun. Yeah, we could have taken the clover leaf a little bit longer, but that was a three clover leaf, not a four. And the math wasn't quite math in there, so I was a little worried about it. <laughs> we already had a detour. I don't need a detour on the detour. You know what I mean? We're probably about an hour and a half on our clock, maybe an hour 40 on our clock, and that's about the time we have until we get there. So it's going to be a little close. We can either stop or continue. Now, if we stop, there's going to be a late load. So we're more or less forced to try and continue. Hopefully that there's going to be a uh, rest stop up there, I guess. Maybe. We'll see. I'm just being hopeful, y'all. I ain't got no clue. Fudge, boys. I need over. Come on. Ooh. Thank you. Subaru, we don't, we, come on, with the brakes like that, you scare me, okay? I understand it, all-wheel drive, you're feeling great, you're planted, feels good, right? The power of the Subaru is beneath you, but I ain't got that. I'm driving a Kenny I bought for nine grand. What are brakes? <laughs> oh, speak of them, we really need them right now. Hazards, everybody know we stopping, everybody know. We got a traffic jam up here, and I don't know what is going on. Maybe a semi clouded into somebody. Looks like a doubles might have an issue. This is, uh, this is gonna slow us down a little bit. All right. Well, let's look at our map, I guess. So we're stuck. Oh, that turn we could have got off on this rest stop on 44. Are you kidding me? Right behind a spot where we could have. Can we back up? I don't. Is that one not finished? Oh, are you kidding me? So we're stuck here on this road until we get to our destination. There's nowhere. Maybe we're just right outside of Pittsburgh, Kansas. There's a spot. We can turn and get over to this place on the 44. But then we'd have to come down, go through scales, and come back around all this because we're not going to be able to turn ourselves around there. Oh, no, that's all. That's not scales. That's all a toll. It's all tolls going on. Okay. We in a situation here. We got an hour 34 on our clock, and we're stuck in traffic. We got an hour 12 to our destination. Um, we need to move. I don't know about these fellas, but I have no interest in sitting behind and waiting. Uh, because that means it's just going to take longer to get through here. So if y'all ain't going to be brave enough, I am. Oh yeah, an accident just happened. You want to make things worse, you do exactly what I'm doing. You want to lose your license, you do exactly what I'm doing. You hurry up and do this, turn off your dash cam and hope you don't get caught. That's what, that's what this is. They got a whole accident right there, merge lane. But we got past them. Now the authorities can show up, get it taken care of. Everybody's going to be waiting there for hours. You know what we're doing? We're moving down the road. And I'm not going to complain about it because I just have 10 minutes to spare. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need that 10 minutes <laughs> just to get to the uh, rest stop after we drop off this load. Let me put it this way. If the DOT made me sit there for an hour and I ran out of time on my clock, I'd have pulled the parking brake right there, sat the four ways on. And when they pulled up to my window, said, what you doing? I said, I'm sorry. I got to take my 10. <laughs> I've been sitting in this traffic stop for so long, I ain't got no choice, officer. <laughs> uh, they told me, speeding! Yo, you go speed yourself, son. They got me. They got me. I was talking sass and they got me. They hear you. They always hear you. Think about that, all right? Oh, yep. The bourgeoisie. They're always listening. Brother, I know you tired. I'm tired, too. We got to get where we going, but we, we trying our best. We at Miami, though. Don't everybody love Miami? Is this not the Miami everybody always talking about? Oh, well, this is the Route 66 one. Are we on Route 66 right now? Hey, this is neat. I want to pull into that. Hey, whoa. Let's just hold on. Take a moment. I got to I got to just take a moment and enjoy this. I know we have no time on our clock, but are you kidding me? There's a neat little town we're driving through, a little Route 66 going on. I got to see what they got going on here. 
You got a big old barber shop. Oh my, and a big florist. What you doing out here with your flowers and your haircuts? Okay, y'all, it's been fun, but I wasted time, and now I gotta rush even more when we get to our destination. But that was a fun little look, fun little town. I appreciate that. Nobody enjoys a quick jaunt on Route 66 more than me. Sir, don't find me again. All right, I've already had enough, okay? No more. This piggy is going home. Okay, hopefully it stays clear. Nobody's coming, we're good. Take our right hand turn. I'm gonna, went a little wide just to manage my tip because I was going fast. I didn't want to wobble over, you know. I saw nobody was coming. I figured we'd be fine with it. The problem is, is I gotta stop in 20 minutes. I don't have that long until we're there. I kind of took a little too long going through town. It's my fault, but it was neat, okay? So we, we might, Another stop sign. We might have to go over on our time, or we might be late on this delivery. I don't know which. I know I got to get through this stop, whatever town this is. They're slowing me down here. I'm getting tired. Found a place to rest. Park, parking right. <laughs> Just right here, four ways. Everybody be stuck. Malicious compliance is the is my favorite form of compliance. <laughs> we paid a loan. We're down to thirteen thousand dollars. A life is expensive. We really need the money from this load. But I got one more minute. To be, oh, all right. We're driving illegally now, boys. From here on out, every mile is illegal. Don't let the DOT see this video. If you're DOT, you didn't hear that. And you're also not allowed to watch this video. You're forbade, okay? I forbid it. I forbid it. I'm just kidding. You can stay as long as you ain't a rat. That's all I ask, okay? No, no, no tell them nobody. I'm on PC. I'm trying to get to a rest stop. Catch me, catch me some slack, okay? Give me a break. On the plus side, it's a very beautiful day out today. It's 1.20 p.m. I don't like to end my day this early, but we're gonna have to. We're here at Pittsburgh or just outside, eight miles from our destination, about 15 minutes. And they want this thing by, uh, like, five today or something. <clears throat> so in just a few hours, they're wanting this thing. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to get it to them in just a few hours. I'm not allowed to drive any longer legally, and I I'm pushing my luck, claiming this as personal conveyance, trying to get to this rest stop. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'd be really pushing my luck if I PC'd all the way to the delivery, dropped off, and then PC'd to the... No, I, I really gotta show that now I went right to his parking spot. So... I have no choice. We're gonna have to be late tomorrow. Otherwise, we're gonna get a fine. And I'm not about getting more fines. They might fine us for being late. Which is ironic, but I have a feeling that that's a little less severe than if we got the DOT mad at me. I assume maybe this one's the truck? Yes? Oh, that's exit? Truck exit. So was the truck supposed to enter back there too? Okay. Well, don't mind me. Sometimes I just gotta enter in the rear. I don't make the rules. You know, I just abide by them. We're gonna go up here, get fueled, find ourselves a little spot to park. And I'll tell you what, I'll catch y'all here in the morning. Well, it's 11.35 p.m. And I think we're probably late, so there's that. But we're gonna get ready to get over there. No, yeah, we're late. All right, well, yeah. They wanted it by five, it's 11. <laughs> midnight. Hey, we're here at midnight. Sorry, I was just checking over my shoulder there, making sure everything was good. We are. I got my paperwork in my seat, double checking all that. Shouldn't do that on the move, so uh, don't let Johnny Law see that. But, you know, once again, snitches, be quiet, okay? You ain't see this. Don't at me, bro. <laughs> uh, at least traffic's a little light. I usually try to make it so we drive through mostly day. We catch a little bit of the sunrise. We try to get a bit of the sunset and then call it the uh, end of the day. I think that's the best way to go about it, at least for the videos. But I don't have any problem trucking this time of the day personally because, hey, a little bit lighter of the traffic. Never gonna complain there. Look at all them signs. Oh, I think I gotta go. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> oh, hey, that lane ends, so it's just gonna, gonna take this one then, boys. Might as well. Instead of making it two steps, now it's a one step. How about that? <clears throat> that's not cutting corners, that's efficiency. Let me turn my engine brake again, whoopsie diddly. We're gonna need that to be able to stop at this red light. They got a traffic cam on it? Uh-uh, we ain't running it. We're gonna get a ticket if we do. No thank you. No more tickets. Those cost me enough money. Can I get a green light, please? Simon says green light. Come on. You really don't know how to play Simon Says, do you? Oh, there you go. Figured it out. Proud of you, buddy. 
Good job. We got train tracks here, so I want to slow down. I've had my windows kind of cracked all night. It's been nice. They had a nice cool breeze. You, there's nothing, nothing better than that. I just want to make sure that we're good here before we cross. Looks like we are. And right after the turn is the, or right after the train track is the turn. So I'm going to pull on in. They got another bus on a trailer there. They must do a couple of them. So round that straight in or to the left, boys. Which is? Which is, boys? Think maybe to the left? Straight in says Gold Meadows. That's not where I'm going. I'm going to these people, right? Y'all the ones with the bus, I'm going here. Chances are you want another one. Oh, I, sounds like a train just showed up. Okay, so they look like they're probably closed. I don't know if anybody stayed back or if we're just going to pull it in and drop it in and they'll be here in the morning. But I think we're going to put it in bay two or three over there. Looks like we might actually have a situation where we need to back up today. All right, so I'm going to pull ourselves over so we're kind of lining up alongside the wall, give ourselves room to pull pull up because we are going to be backing it into this bay now oh man we got these trailers i can't do what the pull up i wanted to do here let's see let me just park here i'm going to see if anyone's even here uh so give me one second i'll be right back okay i literally see not a single person so even though their car is parked here there is nobody home and by nobody home i mean nobody at work you know what i mean so we're gonna have to park this in here ourselves which is fine but i gotta figure out i think i'm just gonna pull up and we're gonna angle back it in is what we're gonna do so let me bring this up start to bring ourselves over this way because i want to end up pointing our rear end in that door okay Ooh, dang it a little, little early on that. Okay, that's better, but we might be a little uh, rough here. Let's just go ahead and try it, though. Anybody remember what door we're getting in? Hold on. It's going to be the second one, number nine, if I can see that. Okay, it's so not that one, but... Oh, that is, like, impossible to see. Okay, I see it now, but at that angle we had, I did not see that at all. So we're going to come in. We're, we're pretty off. We're going to have to watch our actual bus, not just our trailer. I use our trailer as a really good guide of where we're at, of course. You know, your cargo is a little bit more than your trailer. So I got to be mindful of that as we try to pull into this spot. Now I'm going to pull us up into here a little bit and then get that angle back into it. We're going to hope that this can kind of shim... Ooh, early. I'm going to hope we can shimmy in there. Gosh, dang it. Look at me. I really messed up, man. So we are right on the other side of that post. And if I can't... Nope. 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 Too early. Too early. Pull forward. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I want to walk it around that post, which we are very close to. But we're also nearly... Oh! We... we <laughs> <laughs> I tried to hit the brakes, but I didn't hit him soon enough. <laughs> Good thing ain't nobody here tonight. <laughs> uh, this security camera could be like, hey, why is there a little paint? I don't know. Let's check the cameras. Uh, why is there a little paint? Hmm. I don't know, boys. I don't know, boys, but I think I need to just pull up in this again and try again because I had a bad pull up and I'm just not feeling confident about it. We could get it. We could get it. But am I enjoying the moment? No, I wouldn't say that. No, okay. It's just it's not going to happen. We're not going to get that. I need to get a better angle on that here. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to try and walk it in wider so we can then narrow it in. There you go. Wider maybe, yeah. And then, then cut it. Watch that backside slide in. We are going to go tight. We are going to go... Ooh, come on, baby. I don't think I'm going to make that on that other side. So let's just stop and turn up uh, this way here a little bit. Crank it again. See if we can't turn it. We're going to get this bus in there, boys. We're going to get it in there. I don't know how we looking over there on that other side. But I'm feeling better than we've been. Feeling better. Feeling better. I really want to check that far side, though. So let's stop there. Okay, so far side is actually clear and clearing everything. Close side is the one that's probably closer that we need to watch, especially the mirror. Um, the mirror is our main thing because it does overhang the uh, trailer. So that's what we are trying to be careful about. And we are going to be a little close on. But overall, we're getting it in there. We have a little bit room up on our nose if we need to kind of pull forward and straighten into this, which is probably what we will have to do. But let's see what we can do with what we've got working here. Like 
I said, we're going to try to avoid hitting anything. I'll try to be fast enough, but we're trying to manage the automatic clutch and the brake at the same time here. So I think we're actually sneaking right inside. I've got this wheel cranked, so we're not going to straighten this trailer any more than we already are. So we better hope that we're getting it in well. Um, we're at a bit of an angle, so this is the point where I'm going to go ahead and bring it up to try and straighten ourselves out inside. So we want to bring our whole trailer kind of this way. And then I'm going to... Hmm, didn't quite get the angle I wanted. Right there. We're going to use all the room we got. Take it back now. And there we go. So I'm just trying to walk it a little bit further to that passenger side. I'm going to now start straightening that out to keep it in line. We're going to slow down because I don't know if we're going to clear that. I want to check it. Okay, so we're just taking a look on whether or not we're going to clear that mirror. And it's going to be close. It's going to be questionable. we got plenty of room on this other side. We're favoring this driver's side. But we should be able to get around that. I'm just going to take a little time to walk myself right up this way and pull that angle a little farther this direction. Let's go a little bit more, get it back in line better. Come on. There we go. Okay, that's all the room we got. Now, did I pull that too far, passenger? That's always the dilemma. We probably did, knowing me. So I'm going to walk this back driver just a hair. Okay, watched it. We did clear. That's why I was walking it back driver just a bit, because I had a feeling we were probably a little off there. But now that we're in, as long as I be careful about pulling too far forward, we should be able to kind of straighten this thing right back in. Just like that. All right, gentlemen, there's your trailer. She's a little late, 1.30 in the morning, but say, hey, it'll be there in the morning for you all. And that's, that's a little Christmas present, if you ask me. Where's my cookies? Give me uh, cookies and milk, please. All right, let's drop this trailer. Late. Yeah, I know. I know. We gotta find $1,120? My goodness. But it is what it is. A late job is a late job, but nothing we can do about it in that situation. Not another school bus. I just dropped off a school bus. Probably the same one.